An aneurysm is a weak spot that develops on a blood vessel in the brain. That's why we call it cerebral aneurysm. With time, it becomes a source of bleeding in the brain. Oftentimes, the patient comes saying, I've had the worst headaches of my life. My name is Dr. Michel Mawad. I'm an interventional neurosurgeon. I work with a multidisciplinary team that specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of stroke and intracranial cerebrovascular disease, such as aneurysms. The endovascular treatment of intracranial aneurysm is a non-invasive technique that does not involve opening the skull or doing an open craniotomy. We can actually get to the aneurysm without even touching the brain. Tremendous benefits of endovascular versus open surgery. Most important thing is to give the patient the options. We explain to them the benefits and the risk of each procedure versus the other. We start first by doing a small puncture in the groin of the patient to get access to the femoral artery. Then we navigate the diagnostic catheter around the heart to access one of the four major arteries that supply the brain. We perform diagnostic arteriography with three-dimensional rotational views that gives us a superb definition of the anatomy of the aneurysm, the size of the aneurysm, and the relationship of the aneurysm to the adjacent artery. Then we can actually thread very small, handmade, soft platinum cords inside the bubble, the aneurysm, to close it. Oftentimes, in addition to the coil, we also use a stent, which is deployed in the artery harboring the aneurysm. We also use the flow diverter, either by itself or in combination with the cord. Once we are satisfied that the aneurysm has been excluded from the circulation, we perform a post-treatment angiography. And then at the end, we take the access sheet from the groin. We stop the bleeding from the groin by holding pressure or using a small suture on the artery. Everything is well outside the body. The patient is stable. We wake the patient up and we send them awake to either the recovery room or to the intensive care unit. In general, we tell our patients there is a rate of complication of about three to 5%, even though we think the benefits way outweigh the risk of this procedure. The recovery is very quick. In general, patients are discharged home within 48 hours, going back to their normal life and their normal social life, and within a week they can regain their usual occupation and work. The brain is the major structure that make us laugh, that make us think, make us read, understand, interact with people. So it's a very, very precious uh, organ in our body. And that's where this whole thing of endovascular treatment has come to light because we would like to minimize the trauma and the retraction on this very precious organ in our body.